Final Fantasy X. Easily my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time, and the first Final Fantasy game that I played through from start to finish, and I would consider it my first and true experience with the series. Let me share with you guys the story on how this video came to be. It's terrifying how Google knows you as a person. I was looking to get somewhere the other day, and I plan on throwing directions into my phone through Google, and the first thing I see when I pull Google up, Final Fantasy X 3, currently under consideration for future development. I think I lost it right then and there, absolutely speechless, and I said to myself, I need to do research and bookmark this when I get home, because I'm finding this really hard to believe. Now, I know, and it makes me really happy to at least acknowledge that the original Final Fantasy X team, or at least what's left of it, is working on the Final Fantasy VII Remake. But that throws a wrench into everything. Final Fantasy VII Remake is still a long ways off, so we would have to wait for that game to be completed first because obviously they can't just drop shop and then focus on something new, it doesn't work that way. And then after that game comes out they would have to start the development process for 10-3 and then make that happen, which in my opinion, I noticed that the greatest Final Fantasy games are the ones that they spend multiple years on, and we're not even going to speak on Final Fantasy XV and what it could have been, but I feel like this team really does make amazing things happen. I truly believe that, and I feel like if done right, that would be a nice kick in the proper direction for Square Enix as a company. I will admit that when it comes to Final Fantasy X and the two games that have released, I absolutely love the first game and I feel like that is the majority of the fan base. We're all entitled to our own opinions and I just feel like the change from a serious tone to a more lighthearted and different one, I didn't know what to expect. Final Fantasy X came out when I was in, what, elementary school and then X2 came out when I was in middle school and I remember being so excited for X2 which I didn't play until three or four years after it released. I played that so late. And I said to myself, what is this? How could they go from such a serious, beautifully driven story to one that was great, but at the same time, it just felt, it just felt incomplete. Just the overall presentation of Final Fantasy X-2, it just felt underwhelming. And when I play it today, I still feel the same way. But this isn't what we're aiming to get into. What about Final Fantasy X-3? What would that story be like? What direction would they take? So through browsing the internet, trying to find everything I could on Final Fantasy X-3, I discovered sketches of both Titus and Yuna and what they would look like in Final Fantasy X-3. Titus looks more like Jekt, and honestly, given everything, I could see him looking up to his father. We know how he felt about his father in Final Fantasy X, but going through everything that he did and the experiences that he had, obviously, his opinion and his views on Jack turned and changed and now he respects him and I feel like that might play a big influence on why he wants to look more like his father. And then we have Yuna sporting her summoner garbs from Final Fantasy X and that serious appearance is back from the original Final Fantasy X game in which Yuna was just much more mature. So I feel like this is a combination of growth and the direction that the story is leading into because apparently this story going forward in the timeline, summoners are actually called upon once again. So that would naturally mean that Yuna is going back to doing what she did in the first game. This is really exciting because it raises the question, why are summoners being called back to Spear? What is going on that we need their assistance again going forward in the timeline? And it makes you wonder and think even further into everything with the possibility of Sin coming back? Or a threat that is as great or even worse than Sin? Is Seymour tied to this somehow? I mean, there's multiple questions that can be raised. And we know that developers and storytellers, one thing they do well is finding ways to make things creep back into the picture again. That would be really exciting because I feel like it would be a wonderful nod to the first game and to be able to play through this serious tone and this nostalgic story, that feeling that you got from the first game and going through it for the first time, being able to do that with a brand new engine, brand new graphics on a next-gen console, the thought of it all, it's 
quite terrifying. And the reason why I say that is because when I was a kid playing through Final Fantasy X, I must have sunk six to eight hundred hours into it. And then when you throw in the fact that they came out with the remastered version on PS3 and PS4, which I own both copies of those, we're talking close to 900 hours of gameplay. And it never gets stale. So imagine that story being redone, but more or less just built upon. It's a wonderful thought, and it's extremely exciting. Do I think that as a Final Fantasy fan, this is needed? I definitely don't, but I feel like the majority of the people who have the same view that I do, if it happens, we're gonna buy the game, we're gonna wanna go through this experience, and we're gonna wanna see the end result that is this trilogy. Now, do I think it needs to be a sequel? Not necessarily. I would even be content with a prequel, featuring Braska, Jacked in Orin, and I know that some things are better left untold even though we know a few things when it comes to their past through the spears that we picked up showcasing those flashbacks, but I would love to see and be able to play through the in-betweens. From them meeting each other in Bavel before the pilgrimage started, to the pilgrimage itself, to the final Aeon battle with Jacked, being able to control and see that would be absolutely mind-blowing. And then we have everything with Orin. What happened with Lady Unaleska and him going down Mount Gagazet to later on find Kamari and then dragging the timeline further, him going to Zanakin for Titus. There's just so many things that I want to experience in the first person. But when you compare prequel to sequel, with the prequel, the path is laid out for us. With the sequel, we don't know what we're going to get. And I know for the majority, myself included, Mystery is definitely the more appealing route. Being able to see the possibility of Yuna being once again aided by her previous guardians, or at least the majority of them, and going on another pilgrimage, doing who knows what. Would the original Aeons come back, and how would they wake up? I mean, there's just so many questions that I would have that I would have to feature in another video. In the end, I think that the original Final Fantasy X is an absolute masterpiece. When the game came out, it was essentially years ahead of its time, and I feel like now that it's grown, it remains timeless because the story was absolutely solid, and it was backed by wonderfully designed characters with wonderful backstory and a great overall presentation. And for that reason, I feel like this is absolutely something that didn't need to be built upon. But the fact that it already has been, why not close off the series with some good closure? But I'm curious to know what you guys think. My diehard Final Fantasy fans, especially this installation in the series, what's going through your head? What do you think could happen? What do you think is in the realm of possibility? I want to know because I love talking about this game and what it could be in the future going forward now that this news is circulating and floating around. And please be sure to let me know if you find out anything or if there's anything news related that I did miss and didn't include in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to share this with your fellow Final Fantasy fans. This has been Gia Quinto. Have a good night guys. Later.